Welcome to the Navigate Cloud Manager webinar on elevating project management in Autodesk Construction Cloud and uh, preparing for the A360, BIM 360 end of life. Welcome everyone. Uh, let me introduce myself uh, and Pratik here. So, hi, I'm Brendan Gregory. Uh, I'm an experienced MEP, uh, BIM consultant and trainer, uh, previously a VDC coordinator and a former project manager. Um, but now I'm the product manager and owner uh, for Navigate Cloud Manager uh, with Symmetry. Um, I work with our in-house product development team on Navigate Cloud Manager to speed up, improve, and automate workflows that our customers find inefficient. And uh, I'll let Pratik introduce himself. And hello, everyone. My name is Pratik Chitnis. I am the Navigate Cloud Manager product specialist and a strategic implementation manager at Symmetry. I assist companies in implementing BIM workflows and conducting trainings. Um, and also as a product specialist, I work with our in-house development team in beta testing the product, delivering demos and conducting trainings as well. Okay, so here's the agenda for today. Um, we're gonna do a quick introduction to Navigate. Uh, then we will uh, showcase the ACC project creation in bulk and ACC member management in bulk features that are new to Navigate Cloud Manager. Um, and then we will discuss the BIM 360 end of life um, and the, the options and processes uh, that we can assist with there. And then we'll also talk about the bulk permissions preview that's coming. Um, and we'll wrap up with uh, question and answers at the end. So if you have questions, please put them into uh, the, uh, the, the question um, bar in uh, GoToWebinar. Um, and if you're uh, watching this as a recording later, uh, all the question and answers will be at the end. Okay, so we do need to make this announcement um, that uh, back in March, 2020, uh, Microdesk was acquired by Adno Group, um, the owner of Symmetry, uh, which is Europe's leading provider of software and services for design and engineering activities. So together, Microdesk and Symmetry comprise of more than 750 consultants working across 35 offices in seven countries, serving more than 20,000 customers and 250,000 daily users in the US and Europe. Um, so Microdesk has uh, rebranded as Symmetry uh, and um, you'll notice that our website is now symmetry.us. So I'm now gonna hand it over to Pratik to introduce Navigate. Yep, <clears throat> thank you, Brendan. So what is Navigate, right? Navigate is a technology ecosystem which enables architects and engineers to focus on valuable work. Fully integrated within Autodesk Revit and the Autodesk Construction Cloud, the platform maximizes productivity and reduces risk through the cultivation of knowledge, workflow optimization, and connected business workflows. We are one product line for all trades, one team you can work with, one solution to streamline your workflows, one ecosystem for your Autodesk products. Navigate has products for Revit, BIM 360 ACC, and for Civil 3D as well. We are one Navigate portfolio. We have products for all, including architecture, symmetry, structure, MEP fabrication, and cloud manager. The team here at Symmetry is from the AEC industry. We were architects and engineers, turned BIM implementation consultants, and now work with you to provide the solution our industry needs with Navigate products. So Navigate is a suite of products developed by AEC professionals for AEC professionals. So Navigate is built to help Revit and Autodesk and Trusting Cloud users work smarter and is targeted to streamline project setup, data management, modeling, and document management. 
Today's webinar is going to focus on how Navigate Cloud Manager can be used to create ACC projects in bulk and manage users on ACC projects in bulk. We'll show you how you can manage ACC projects more efficiently with Navigate Cloud Manager. Navigate Cloud Manager was purpose-built and designed to accelerate project setup, member management, as well as automate export and data management tasks for both BIM 360 and Autodesk Construction Cloud projects. So BIM 360 and the Autodesk Construction Cloud are awesome platforms, however, they only allow you to manage one project at, the time, at a time. This project-centric uh, structure um, can be inefficient. So Navigate Cloud Manager is focused on enabling the management of multiple projects at the same time through a simple desktop application. So Navigate Cloud Manager is the fastest way to create one or many BIM 360 or ACC projects, intelligently sync folders and files between network locations in the cloud, for multiple BIM 360 and ACC projects at the same time, while also accelerating the process of managing multiple users across multiple projects in bulk, including adding users to the hub in bulk, um, while always being able to set default company, default role, um, company role, and with the new ACC features that we're gonna to showcase today, it also gives you the capability to manage access to the BIM 360 modules, or sorry, the ACC modules or products such as design collaboration, coordination, build, for example. Um, we also have workflows that help you set up projects more efficiently. So we can copy folder structures, including files, to multiple projects in bulk. Uh, this allows you to set up multiple projects faster, helps with migration from a network drive or from another platform to Autodesk Construction Cloud. Uh, we also have automations. These automations allow you to publish Cloud Revit models as frequently as you like. Uh, many of our customers are publishing models daily or multiple times per week, uh, and that's really helping with the adoption of BIM 360 and the Autodesk Construction Cloud, keeping the team members that interface with the website uh, up to date because they're going to see the latest model syncs published to the website. So they're interacting with uh, versions of the model that are more current um, so that they can use them in markups, uh, comments, issues, RFIs. Mm -hmm. uh, it just really helps with the adoption of BIM 360 and ACC if you publish those models automatically on a more frequent schedule. Uh, we also have automated uploading and downloading in bulk for multiple projects at the same time. Um, and that can be controlled by filters. So you do have the ability to be selective on which folders, which types of files, which files, um, when you're scheduling those reoccurring schedule, uh, scheduled uploads or download syncs. Uh, we also have an archiving component that will help you back up on a schedule as well. And then finally, we have export of PDF, NWC, and DWG. That can be done on demand or on a schedule. This can be deployed to a network server so it doesn't tie up your machine. And uh, it really frees up uh, designers' time um, and the resources of their machine that would be tied up, opening up multiple Revit models and waiting for those exports to happen for PDF, NWC, and DWG. So a huge time saver there uh, for our users. So today, uh, we're really excited to showcase the new ACC admin support for bulk ACC project creation and bulk ACC member management with access control for the products. So um, I'm going to uh, uh, jump into the first one here, project creation, in just a second, but I do need to specify or make it clear that um, we are utilizing the ACC admin API that, that powers these features. Um, it's still in beta development by Autodesk and may be interrupted by Autodesk at any given time as it is a beta API. 
Um, that being said, uh, we have implemented it as a beta feature, uh, meaning that you can toggle the beta features on or off in the public release of Navigate Cloud Manager. So you can revert back to the, the full version or you can turn on those beta, these beta features uh, with the toggle button in the application. Okay, so let's dive into uh, the first workflow here, which is bulk project setup with uh, template folders and files. So I'm gonna create BIM 360 and ACC projects and then I'm also going to create um, the folder structure on those projects in bulk using our template folder and file workflow that is unique because it includes files as well um, in the template. So let's dive into this. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the projects module and we're going to download the Excel template. So we're going to download the template here. I'm going to save it to my computer. And then uh, I've already got one filled out, so we're going to load this one. It's got instructions. This is where you put all the information for the projects. So uh, you can specify BIM 360 or ACC, fill out all the required project information. And then for ACC, you actually get to specify which products you want to enable when it turns on. So if you want build or design collaboration, uh, you can specify that at the time that you create the project. And this will uh, process the ones that we select uh, in bulk. So we're going to load this Excel file into Navigate Cloud Manager and then review the information, confirm it looks good, and then select the projects that we um, we want to create. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these projects here and we're going to hit uh, create. And it's going to take uh, a few seconds for each project. It's going to run through the the list here and just go ahead and create each of these projects on BIM 360 or ACC depending on uh, the service type <coughs> that was uh, selected or the platform that was selected I mean. So now I'm in the browse module and here you can see these projects that we've just created and I'm going to select all of them in bulk and I'm going to apply a template folder structure including files. So this tool here the top right I'm going to click and I'm going to specify my template project. So I'm going to pick the template project and then um, specify a staging location. We call that the repo route. And then we are going to specify whether we include the files or just the folders. So here I'm doing folders and files and it's going to copy the template into all six of these projects, ACC and BIM 360 projects. Then it's going to uh, give me a pop up here telling me how to complete the workflow. The last step is to go to the files module and select all the projects and then upload them with this button here to BIM 360 and ACC. So it's going to do all those projects in bulk once I hit this upload sync button. Um, so it's there it goes. It's uploading the files and the folders to all those projects in bulk. Now, if I needed to modify maybe folder names or, or add more files, I could do that prior to upload. Um, Maybe I have different project teams. I need to give uh, specific names to those folders uh, or I needed to add specific kickoff documents. Um, if you're adding things, you can do it at any time because this is a sync and you can just rerun the sync. If there's a new version of a file, it will intelligently add a new version on BIM 360 or ACC. And then what I just showed there on the right is that um, you can browse from our interface. Uh, we call this hybrid browsing, where you're looking at the local and what's on BIM 360. The, the right panel there is showing us the folders and files that are on uh, the actual project, the ACC project up in the cloud. So that is uh, quickly the, the workflow supporting creation of BIM 360 and ACC projects in bulk, uh, and then completing the setup process by applying template folder structures, including files to projects in bulk and then uploading those projects in bulk. Uh, we do have automated um, scheduled reoccurring uploads and downloads available in the jobs module. Um, but the workflow I just showcased here is the files upload, which is um, the manual uh, selection process, but it is intelligent in that it will compare uh, the files and create new versions on BIM 360 if um, 
the file is more recently modified and the data is different. So there's a lot of advantages over the desktop connector here, um, being that we aren't just creating versions of every file um, and it's a lot easier to do more than 40 projects in bulk. So, all right, uh, that was the ACC project creation workflow in bulk. Um, now I'm gonna hand it over to Pratik and let him dive into the second workflow. Thank you, Brendan. Um, so let's dive into the second workflow, which is bulk member management. So let, let's, let us pause and take a look at the members module user interface. It's divided into three columns. On the left is the column with all the projects on your hub. The middle column has filters at the top and all your hub members. And finally, the column on your right has member access, company, and roles. So let's move on to the process of bulk member management. So as you can see, we can filter between BIM 360 and ACC. I'm gonna filter for ACC projects. I can have multi-select on, so I can add multiple members to multiple projects. I can go add someone to the hub. So if that person individual is not on your hub, you can go add them as well with the default company and default role. I'm gonna type in one of my colleagues' name, Sheer, and we're gonna add her to our hub I'll give her a default role and manager and then click add. And as you can see at the bottom right, there's a log file. So it tells you the process that's taking forward. Then we have our four different filters and then we'll, we'll look at those filters. So we use the email domain filter. So, you know, if you're working with subcontractors or other clients, you can, um, use the email domain filter to filter out who you see on your hub in the list. So then we're going to select Brendan. Once you're done with the email domain filter, we go on to the next filter, which is project based. So if you need someone certain, you know, from a project, we're going to select Sheer again. And that's how you would use the filter um, to go to a specific project and find someone that you need to add to another project. And then the other filter we have is based on role. So now we're looking at architect and then we're gonna use Kevin. And then there's the name email filter, which I'm gonna just include myself. And now we have four people selected that are on your hub and we can get started to add them to the multiple projects. Um, we're gonna use the dropdown to select the company, Microdesk, and then the role as BIM manager and engineer. And then we can click add, but for ACC, we have the ACC access template. So we do have to create a template which will let us um, select which products that we wanna turn on for entitlements. We give the template name as project manager and then a template description, Microdesk project manager, and then select you know whether it's administrator member act, no access. And yep, we go ahead and save that, yes. And then we can go ahead and click on the person with the plus sign and we select our template or we can go um, toggle the options live as well. I wanna click okay. Does take about five minutes to add everyone and you can see at the bottom right, you know, how many were successful, how many were added. So it does let you know if there's any errors or anything um, associated with that. Now I can do multi-select off. I'm gonna select one of the ACC projects, and I noticed that, you know, maybe I want to change someone's role or update their role. So for Brendan, I'm going to update his role and add VDC manager, and I click on the update symbol. And then I can update his entitlements as well. Yep, and then we're just going to update the member. So not only can you add them from the projects, you can also update their roles and company as well. So Navigate Cloud Manager accelerates adding multiple users to multiple projects at the same time while also setting their company end roles. Thank you, Prateek. Yeah, and those are the two uh, new ACC feature, supported features uh, in Navigate Cloud Manager. Um, if you have any questions on these features, please put them into the chat. We'll, we'll um, 
uh, answer those at the end. Uh, we've got two more topics to dive into before we go to the Q&A. Okay, so um, BIM 360 end of life is coming. So uh, what is happening? Let's talk about that. So in September 2021, Autodesk began that end of life process for BIM 360 team. This is uh, not the BIM 360 uh, next gen. This is what projects were running um, C4R for design collaboration. Uh, this was before uh, the BIM 360 quote next gen. Um, and then the um, ACC, of course. So there is a schedule to retire BIM 360 team products by the end of 2023. Um, so there is an Autodesk FAQ article, which I'm going to put in the chat right now. Uh, and if you're watching this as a recording, uh, it will be in the description. And this is the Autodesk official FAQ. All right, I've sent that in the chat. Um, it's the official FAQ with all the information on what's happening, when, the timelines, resources for helping with, um, you know, backing up your data, and, and I'll discuss this in a little more detail um, right now. So the um, BIM 360 team products are, are retiring at the end of this year, so uh, by January 1st, 2024, um, there will no longer be access to files stored in BIM 360 team or A360 team. All access to BIM 360 teams, web services, and mobile apps will be deactivated and removed. Okay, so um, the FAQ link that I, from Autodesk that I put in there uh, goes into detail about um, the BIM 360 team end of life activities that also apply to A360 team users. Um, so I, I really recommend you re review this FAQ to learn more about the impacts and the next steps you consider for copying your data. Now, um, Autodesk has made available the ART or the ART, the Autodesk replication tool to some customers to assist with the data backup process. So I wanna uh, talk about that for a second. Um, so if you want to um, back up just one project, uh, this is, a, is a, a tool that Autodesk provides. You do it one project at a time. Um, and if you want just specific files, you need to select each of those individually. Um, now, if you want to back up all your projects in bulk, we recommend using Navigate Cloud Manager. Uh, so let's just talk about the differences between the ART and the Navigate Cloud Manager. So you can download and upload multiple projects at once with Navigate Cloud Manager. The ART only allows one project at a time, and you'll have to repeat the process for each project with ART. Navigate Cloud Manager can streamline the process for multiple projects in bulk. Also, Navigate Cloud Manager can back up to a network location and then also create multiple projects in bulk where you will then upload in bulk all those projects uh, to a BIM 360 or ACC project. Now, the ART <clears throat> only allows you to transfer uh, between uh, the BIM 360 team project and existing BIM 360 or ACC projects. Uh, if you want to download to a local computer with the ART, you must manually select each file. Um, we think that you'll find Navigate Cloud Manager workflow faster and more efficient if you have more than one project to back up. Um, but both tools are available to BIM 360 team um, users. So, um, yeah, again, December 31st, 2023, uh, all BIM 316 products are going to be retired. And again, I want to be clear, this is BIM 360 team, not BIM 360. Uh, BIM 360 is the version after BIM 360 team. Um, and of course, ACC is the new platform that 
that we're helping everyone uh, move over to as well. So let's talk about the Navigate Cloud Manager workflow for handling your BIN 360 team end of life. There's really three steps to this. There's downloading BIN 360 team folders and files to a network location or a local location on a computer. And then uh, we can bulk create projects for all those uh, BIN 360 team projects that you downloaded, and then create ACC uh, projects with the same name uh, as the AC as the uh, BIN 360 team project, and then we can upload all those projects in bulk. So you're able to do this process once for all your projects in bulk. Uh, we find that would be much more efficient if you have more than one project. So I've got a a quick uh, video here to just go over the process and I'll, I'll talk through this. Um, so we're using the Navigate uh, Cloud Manager application and uh, you sign in with your Autodesk account and this is gonna give you access to all your BIN360 projects, ACC projects, and of course uh, your BIM 360 team projects. So once we allow the access, we'll be able to see on the connect tab in or connect module in Navigate Cloud Manager, the list of projects um, or list of hubs. So from the account admin, you do need to have uh, the app uh, activated. So if you're an account admin, one account admin only, needs to do this and it'll work for everybody on the account, uh, but you do need to add the Navigate Cloud Manager app integration. So here we are in the browse module um, and we can see our BIM 360 and ACC projects. So we're gonna switch to the, uh, AC, uh, the BIM 360 team site and you're gonna notice that there's a, gonna be a different icon. So this has the A360 teams icon, or sorry, the A360 icon on the left and then we can select projects and download them. So we can select folders and files, we can do an archive snapshot or a download sync. And uh, there was a multi-select button at the top there. We could do multiple projects by turning on that multi-select and then downloading multiple projects in bulk. Um, so that's gonna process and download to the uh, network or local location that we specified. Um, and then we're gonna go and create projects on ACC where we wanna upload these two uh, in the end. So it's downloaded uh, to the location that we specified and there's the project names. Um, then what we're gonna do is uh, create those projects. So we're gonna switch back to our uh, BIN360 ACC account. So we're gonna switch to that BIN360 ACC account and then we're gonna go create uh, the projects as ACC projects. So now uh, you can notice the icon there is for ACC and the B is for BIM 360. So we go to the projects module and uh, we're gonna load the, um, the Excel file and uh, create the, uh, the projects in bulk. So again, we're showing one project here, but this process can be done for multiple projects in bulk, making it more efficient than the art tool. Uh, so we've loaded that in and there's our project. Uh, you would fill that out, um, adding the information for all the projects you wanna create. Um, and then uh, we're gonna select them all and process them to create them in bulk, just like we did uh, earlier in the presentation. So there we go, it's created that project on ACC. And uh, the final step is to upload. So there's the uh, project on ACC. Um, and you can see that uh, it is an empty project, except it does have the project files folder. So that's different than the BIN 360 team projects that uh, you just downloaded. So we will show you um, how we uh, resolve that uh, discrepancy between BIM 360 um, and BIM 360 team folder structure. So now that we've uh, located um, the download and added it to the files module, we do that through the browse module. Uh, 
but when we create projects, it automatically adds them. So that's a nice feature that whenever you create a project with Navi Cloud Manager, it automatically adds it to the files module for you. So you don't have to go to browse to add it manually. Uh, now the step I was talking about where we need to um, have the, the files be uh, under the project files folder. Um, what we do is we use a, um, if it's one project, then you can just add the file and drag it. But if it's many projects, we can uh, use a, a batch script to process all those projects in bulk. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and add that project files folder, and then um, we'll be able to upload. So if you had tried, right there, we just tried to upload, upload it without uh, adding the project files folder, um, it's going to give you an error. So what we need to do is add that project files folder. So we're going to go ahead and do that and in, open the repo, add that project files folder. Again, if you need to do this in bulk, we can do it with a, a batch script to um, move all the files and all the projects in bulk. So it's, it's very efficient if you're doing a lot of projects. Um, and now you're going to reload and you're going to see that proper folder structure. Everything's under project files. And now we can go ahead and upload, and then it's going to create all the folders on the bin, or sorry, on the ACC project, and start uploading the files. Um, so here you're seeing the the folders and the files as they get created onto, um, or, and uploaded and created on the ACC project. So that's the uh, the workflow uh, for the special release of Navi Cloud Manager. This will be available to our Navigate Cloud Manager customers on September 18th. Um, I'm gonna put that link that's on the screen there in the chat right now. So if you would like to request uh, this special release of Navigate Cloud Manager that is focused on the backup of data and migration of data from BIM 360 Teams because of the end of life to BIM 360 or ACC, please um, use the link I just put in the chat, or if you're watching this as a recording in the description, uh, to contact us. And in the message, please mention BIM 360 team end of life version for Navigate Cloud Manager customers. Uh, and again, that will be available for Navigate Cloud Manager cu customers by request on September 18th, coming up soon. Okay. Now, the final topic of the webinar today is on BIM 360 and ACC folder permissions. And I wanna highlight um, the capabilities uh, that we have today in our preview. So let's dive into folder permissions. So let's dive in right into how it works and, and what we do. Um, so we're able to filter our folders uh, with this uh, filter contains this contains filter, I mean, and then we can select multiple subjects. So these can be company uh, uh, roles or uh, specific users. And then we can look at the current permissions and modify them with drop downs very efficiently. And then we aggregate that all together in this calculated data grid here, where we're seeing the, the permissions that we added and, and modified. You can see some of them say create and update. And we can even modify further here on the final screen before we go ahead and modify. So uh, this process is uh, much more efficient than uh, doing folder permissions on uh, the BIM 360 or ACC website. Uh, you'd have to you know, right click on each folder and apply the, the permissions and kind of re repeat the process for, for the same subjects. When, when I say subjects, I mean companies users and roles, uh, we can apply all of those uh, here um, in bulk to multiple folders, multiple subjects uh, in a much more streamlined workflow. Um, so the uh, folder permission um, features are uh, collecting pre-registration access requests right now. So again, that same link that I put in the chat and that's in the description, uh, please put in the message folder permission beta preview for Navigate Cloud Manager customers. And we will provide access to this once it's available. 
um, for the preview re release for Navigate Cloud Manager uh, customers. Um, I want to highlight that if you have folder permission needs today, uh, before this release uh, comes out, um, we do provide consulting services today where we use this tool internally to um, apply folder permissions in bulk um, across your hub, um, across projects. So if you do have an immediate need, um, uh, please reach out to us through the same uh, contact us link and request um, support there. We, we can help you uh, there. We can talk about um, how we can help you with that as a service uh, prior to the release being available to our customers. And uh, yeah, we do use this feature internally on a daily basis uh, to uh, manage BIM 360 and ACC folder permissions much more efficiently than uh, directly through the, the website. Um, okay, I'm seeing some questions in the in the chat, um, which we will address in, in just a few minutes. Let's wrap up uh, the presentation and then we'll get over to the Q&A. All right, so I'm gonna hand this back to uh, Pratik here. All right, thank you, Brendan. Um, Navigate Cloud Manager is full of features, as you can see, that accelerate project setup, member management, and automate project tasks. Many more features that we didn't get to show you today. If you want to learn more, please request a full demonstration of Navigate Cloud Manager or check out one of the full demonstrations on our YouTube page. <clears throat> Thank you for your attention in learning about Navigate Cloud Manager. We are Navigate. Like I mentioned before, um, Navigate is more than just a plugin. We are a community. With Navigate, you have access to your own license portal, our blog, the ideation portal, our help desk, and an e learning platform and also the e-store. We don't want to just create products for you. We want to work with you. Remember, our goal is to help you work smarter. So with Symmetry License Portal, you can manage all your Naviate licenses, follow the Naviate blog for tip workflows for your Naviate solutions. In the ideation portal, you can add your ideas, or see other ideas. We want Navigate to be for users, by users, connect and interact with other Navigate users in the Navigate community. At our help desk, you can see Navigate product instruction videos and documents. With Pinnacle's e-learning platform, you can find all guides on how to get started with Navigate. And lastly, our e-store makes it easy to buy Navigate. You can see all of this and much more on our website. Don't forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. Twitter is now X, um, and I think we can get started with the Q&A portion of this webinar. Thank you, Pratik. All right, so uh, let me address the first question here. Okay, we have quite a few questions. I'll, I'll work through them one by one here. Uh, the first one, uh, thank you, Amanda, for replying um, to that first question. The first question is always, will this be recorded and will I get a link to the recording? Yes, so if you registered, the link will be sent out um, following up uh, once it's posted um, with the link uh, this week. Uh, so yes, the recording will be available and the link will be sent out. Um, Will we be able to choose a template on ACC because it would be better if we could assign the security role to each folder upon creation? I completely agree uh, with, with this comment. Um, and it's, it's something that we are um, also in agreement with and, and would like to implement uh, in the future. The current um, Navigate Cloud Manager desktop application um, does not have uh, a connection to the template project uh, workflow that ACC provides. Um, but yes, I agree, the ACC template uh, features, uh, once that API is available, uh, we would uh, plan to include that in um, our application and our product offerings. Um, 
So the next question here is, uh, can we see them in ACC? So this is a little bit out of context. I don't know exactly when that question was asked or where, I know when it was asked. I don't know where we were in the presentation at that point. Um, let me see if there's more detail in a further um, question, follow-up question. I'm not sure what that question was because uh, I don't have the context, but um, you can see BIM 360 and ACC nav uh, projects in Navigate Cloud Manager. Um, possibly the question was, can you see BIM 360 Teams projects in, in ACC? And the answer is no. Um, you are not able to see them through the ACC website. Um, you have to access it through the BIM 360 Teams interface. Um, okay, next question here. Can you enable projects on ACC to navigate that were not created in Navi? Yes, that's an excellent question. So you can absolutely um, connect uh, ACC and BIM 360 projects that were not created with Navigate Cloud Manager to work with Navigate Cloud Manager. So uh, specifically, we're talking about the files module. So if you're gonna upload um, or download projects that are BIM 360 or ACC, you do not have to create them with Navigate Cloud Manager to access them. In the browse module, we do have the ability to add them. And uh, let me just, uh, I can actually show you that. Um, I'll just pull Navigate Cloud Manager on the screen in a second. Um, And while that opens, I'm gonna go ahead and read the next question. Oh, here we go. Okay, so if I go to the browse module, so I'm in uh, our Microsoft MRX example account here. Um, say these projects here were not created on, um, or not, these these were created with Navigate Cloud Manager, so let me find out when that wasn't. So like, these aren't my projects, but these were created by somebody else using Navigate Cloud Manager, not my installation. So if I wanted to add them to the files module, I would just go ahead and select here. I select those in bulk, and then I hit this um, like disk symbol with the plus sign, so the three pancakes plus sign, and I can specify the staging location. And if I specify a folder location, I hit update. When I go to the files module, uh, they will then be listed here. I didn't actually pick a location, but if I did, they would then show up in the files um, list. And this would allow me to do the uploads uh, manually. Um, when I say manually, it's, it's you're doing it in bulk, but you're not scheduling it. So that's why it's manual. Uh, the jobs module does allow you to schedule uploads and downloads uh, and archives across multiple projects with a lot more control. Like you can specify certain folders and files, uh, and specify the frequency and the schedule with the jobs module. Okay, uh, that was a great question. Um, next one is, how do you know if your BIM360 projects are Teams or not? Okay, excellent. So if you're a Navigate Cloud Manager uh, user, the, um, the easy way to tell is uh, with the icon. So if I go to the browse module, you're gonna see that we have uh, BIM 360 projects here and ACC projects, the Autodesk and Crusher Cloud projects. And then if I switch, you know, I don't know what version I'm on here. Uh, no, I'm not on the special release version for, um, for BIM 360 team, but if I was on that, we would have another Microdesk account, which is uh, for ACC. I can go back in the presentation and, and uh, get to the right spot for that though. Um, the icon looks like an A and I will uh, grab that for you uh, just so you can see it.
good to take a screenshot so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so they will have the A in front of it. Um, now we have to create, or we have to connect to that Autodesk um, BIM 360 team account. And then when you go into the browse module, you're gonna see these as the A360 icon because they're actually on the A360 platform that they rebranded as BIM 360 teams prior to launching uh, BIM 360. All right, that was a great question. Now let's go on to how do you know if, um, oh no, sorry, that was only just answered. The next question here, um, this has to be backed up to September, 2024, right? Okay, so I'll go over the timeline in a little more detail. Um, the timeline for um, end of life is is in the FAQ, and I can actually pull that up on the screen just to be really transparent uh, in what the FAQ has. Okay, so here we have the FAQ that I put in the link, uh, or I put the link in the chat and will be in the description, but this is the frequently asked questions from Autodesk about BIM 360 team end of life. And I wanna point out that they have an item four here. What are the key dates and milestones to keep in mind? So January 31st, 2023, um, so that was the beginning of this year. You'll no longer be able to review your existing BIM 360 subscription. So they cut off subscriptions. And then in April, they were stopping the ability to create new projects and hubs and um, the mobile app and A360 CAD view stuff that all uh, was removed. Um, then in June um, 2024, for um, the desktop connector will uh, will no longer connect to uh, BIM 360 team and A360 team. Um, so you can utilize the, again, there's the Autodesk replication tool if you're doing one project or you're doing specific files. I, I think that the Autodesk replication tool is an excellent tool for doing that. Um, if you do have the task of um, downloading many projects on BIM 360 team, I would recommend Navi Cloud Manager as a more efficient workflow, uh, but both tools allow you to download files off of um, the uh, BIM 360 team platform, and both tools allow you to get that data onto BIM 360 or ACC projects uh, to store it in the cloud. Um, Navia Cloud Manager is also a little bit easier to get it to a network drive because that's the first step for us. Um, so yes, it says until December 31st, 2023. Um, yep, this is the Autodesk FAQ page. Um, refer to this for all the details on exactly when things are happening and, and what's happening. Um, So next question is, does it download document logs and revision history? Okay, that's an excellent question. So the um, question around document logs and revision history. So we don't download that information with Navigate Cloud Manager. The Neither does the um, Autodesk replication tool. It These tools are focusing on downloading the current version of the file um, and uh, getting it to another location. So getting it off of BIM 360 team and 
Um, it's just the current version. Um, in addition to that, RFIs, issues, reviews. Now, all of that stuff is not included on the Autodesk Art Tool or Navigate Cloud Manager. So that type of information is not included. Um, we're not going to talk about it today, but we are in development on um, doing more comprehensive uh, migration, including the things that you are asking about. Uh, but I don't have a, a timeline uh, for release, but we are putting effort into um, being able to capture those other types of information, not for BIM 360 team, but for BIM 360 to ACC. Um, so that is something that we are focused on um, solving the problems. Because yeah, obviously you're asking the question about it. People are interested in being able to uh, copy their multiple versions, uh, copy RFIs, issues, review information, uh, comments, uh, markups, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, that's in the future on the roadmap. So next question here is, does it fix the links? Um, the short answer to that is no. The Autodesk Replication Tool and Navigate Cloud Manager do not um, automatically repair the links of any um, linked Revit file or AutoCAD file that um, may have been um, linked inside Revit files or AutoCAD files that were on uh, BIM 360 team and, and now you've put them on a network drive in a different location or you put them on network drive and then upload them to the ACC, you do still need to fix those links. Um, yeah, the Autodesk Replication Tool and uh, doesn't publish those models before you download them and it doesn't um, fix the links. Uh, Navigate Cloud Manager will in the future uh, cloud initialize um, Revit models onto the platform that you're uploading to. That's a feature that is in development. Um, we do have a working uh, version with that right now uh, in testing. And um, the next step to improve that capability would be to repair links. So yeah, we we that's definitely on our radar. It's just not in the product that we're available right now. All right, next question. Does this feature work with mobile, or sorry, with models hosted on, uh, on Revit 2017? Yes, that's exactly correct. Um, so I will uh, specify the version years. So anyone that used Revit Cloud, um, cloud work sharing, which was formerly known as C4R, collaboration for Revit. They, they named it C, the number four R, C4R. Um, that was what, um, like the first release of uh, design collaboration or uh, building uh, Design Collaborate Pro, uh, as it is called now. Um, but yeah, the version years were, I believe, 20, 2014, 2014 until 2018.2, uh, 2018.3 version of Revit supported both BIM 360 team and BIM 360 hosted projects. Uh, and that was when they transitioned from collaboration for Revit over to design collaboration. Uh, and that was the, the move from BIM 360 team to BIM 360. So they changed the backend platform from BIM 360 team to BIM 360. And the collaboration module was changed from uh, C4R to design collaboration. Um, so the question was, does it work with models hosted in Revit 2017? The answer is yes. The BIM 360 team special release version of Navigate Cloud Manager does allow you to access those projects that were on uh, C4R 2014 to 2018.2 or 2018.3 um, as well. So yes, you can get those Revit 2017 models um, off of BIM 360 team before the end of life with Navigate Cloud Manager. Um, 
have you had any projects that error out and won't download data? Um, I've downloaded a, a, a handful of projects myself, um, and I haven't had any issues with Navigate Cloud Manager downloading the data. I've also downloaded projects with the Autodesk replication tool. Um, and there is a bug um, that I wanted to make you aware of with, with Autodesk replication tool, and they're aware of it. Um, it's documented in, in the support pages, but the Autodesk replication tool can't process more than 200 folders or files at a time. Uh, you have to rerun the transfer um, because you'll exceed that, that, um, that limit if you have more than that in a particular project. So uh, another reason why Navigate Cloud Manager uh, is an easier solution uh, when it comes to downloading large projects and multiple projects on BIM 360 team, uh, because we're able to handle more than 200 uh, folders or files um, in, in a process. Um, so I haven't seen an issue with Navigate Cloud Manager. I have noticed some issues on the art tool. Uh, and um, Autodesk is doing a good job to acknowledge that and make it clear the limitation. And it, it really isn't too bad in the fact that their solution is just rerun the process and it will just do the next 200 files or folders. And then uh, it just, if you have 600 plus uh, folders or files on a project, you just need to run it three times. Um, so that it, it, it does work. It just takes a little more effort uh, with the Autodesk replication tool. Um, okay, next question. Projects in BIM 360 document management are affected in the coming months. No. I, I want to be very clear, and I tried to be as clear as possible. BIM 360 document management is not going to be affected. It is BIM 360 team that is end of life. So BIM 360 team um, was around... 2014 in, until it, uh, BIM 360 was released around 2017. Um, so those Revit projects, really the, the, the defining um, thing for most people is design collaboration being released and people switching over from C4R to design collaboration uh, because that was dictating where your Revit cloud model was hosted. And when you ran a project in 2018.3 or before, uh, you were you had the option to be on BIM 360 team. And then after 2018.3, uh, you uh, no longer had the option of teams. You were only allowed to be on BIM 360. Uh, so I want to be clear. BIM 360 document management and Autodesk Docs, Autodesk Construction Cloud Docs are not affected by um, this BIM 360 team end of life. This is the A360 platform uh, retirement um, or end of life uh, that is happening. Don't want to scare anyone. BIM 360 is still a very active platform. The A360 platform uh, that supports BIM 360's team uh, and those C4R projects 2018.3 and before um, are not as active. No one, well, not no one, but a lot less people are using um, those older versions of Revit today. Okay. Um, uh, that seems to be the last question. Um, I guess if anyone has any other questions, uh, you can always use that uh, a, a contact us link that I gave in the, the, the chat. And if you're watching the recording, um, there's a contact us field. You can put your question in there and uh, we'll get back to you with a response. Um, again, if you're interested in um, learning more about um, Navigate Cloud Manager, please reach out at that link. Um, the contact us page and let us know what you're interested in and uh, we'd be happy to show you um, uh, the solution for whatever workflow you're interested in. Um, and uh, we are a, a consulting company, so uh, we're always going to recommend like the best solution. Uh, we do um, 
have experience using the Autodesk art tool. If you're having trouble with that, you can reach out to us. Uh, we are an Autodesk Platinum partner. Um, also, we are the creators of Naviate. So Naviate Cloud Manager is obviously um, a solution that, that uh, solves a lot of problems out there that um, we've showcased today. And then of course, there's um, you know our consulting team that can help with uh, any other challenges around um, Autodesk uh, related softwares and workflows. Uh, so yeah, I really appreciate your time today, uh, spending some time learning about the new features in uh, Navi Cloud Manager, uh, Autodesk Instruction Cloud, project creation, member management, how we can do all that in bulk, backing up your uh, A360, BIN 360 team projects that are coming to their end of life. Um, and then also, if you're interested in the folder permissions, you can pre-register for access. Uh, once that release is available, you'll be notified uh, at that same link of contact us. Um, that's symmetry.us slash about symmetry slash contact us. But there's a long link, so just go ahead and click on that in the chat or um, if you're watching the recording, it will be available in the description. Thank you, everybody. Really appreciate your time.